Hey guys, it's Roscoe and on the Space Couch today I want to talk to you about the Hyperloop. Now this is one of Elon Musk's ideas for high speed transport. It's essentially a bullet train in a low pressure tube that can travel at supersonic distances. Now this came about after uh, Elon's dissatisfaction with the California high speed rail proposal that is currently underway between Los Angeles and San Francisco. It would be the most expensive, slowest high-speed railway anywhere in the world. It's going to cost at least $70 billion. That's just what they've initially planned, and you know it always spirals out of control and costs on projects like that. And it's slower than planes. Well, on short city pairs, it has to be fast to be able to compete with them. Now, he thought there's got to be a better way of doing this high-speed rail, pro uh, rail programme. So he got a bunch of his SpaceX and his Tesla engineers together to work on this concept, which he announced in a white paper in August 2013. <coughs> this would allow for travel between San Francisco and Los Angeles uh, in 30 minutes for a cost of about $20 a ticket, and overall cost of the project of about $6 billion, that's like less than a tenth of what they've budgeted for the other rail concept. Now... If that worked and kept to those sorts of budgets, it would blow all the other rail the other rail system out of the water. You know, it'd, it'd compete directly with the airlines at far lower cost. And he has called this concept the fifth mode of transport. Port, it's transport, sorry. You know, after cars, planes, ships, and trains. Now, as you know, Elon Musk, he's got lots of demands on his time. Although he still always finds time to uh, get really into the weeds on certain things. However, he doesn't have the capacity to be fully invo in, uh, involved in developing this Hyperloop concept. So, all the research papers and proposals were made open source and put online and said, Guys, this is what I think. You see if you can do better. Please try and do better. Uh, now, being an Elon Musk proposal, you can just imagine engineers and uh, software developers falling over themselves to have some sort of techno wank over all this idea. Now, since the initial announcement, there has been quite a lot of progress made on this concept of the Hyperloop. In January 2014, 2015, sorry, Elon said that he was planning on building a test track, probably in Texas, and that would allow university engineering teams to work on the concept, you know, bring their designs into the real world. It also allow for pod racing around the track, as it's a double tube, which would be very cool. How long until Hyperloop racing is a thing? It might not be quite as uh, exciting as pod racing in Star Wars, but still, Hyperloop racing, yes, that would be pretty cool. Now, there's a couple of companies interested in bringing these Hyperloop plans to fruition. They've both got very similar names. The first one is Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, and the other is just Hyperloop, Trans uh, Hyperloop Technologies. Definitely going to have to be some rebranding in the future. <laughs> there will be a lot of problems. <clears throat> Now the first one, HTT, that's a group of about 100 engineers in the US who are like collaborating, crowdsourcing, working for stop op options rather than cash. So they reckon they're about 10 years away from a working Hyperloop. But in May of this year, 2015, they announced that they've reached a deal with the landowners to build a five mile test track near Interstate 5, which is between uh, Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Now, they've got some capital, about $8.5 million. They've got a board of directors, an engineering team, and um, they've also received venture capital funding, so much more like a traditional startup, as it were, rather than, say, the Copenhagen's of Orbitals type of route. Now, its um, CEO is actually a former SpaceX engineer, and one of the board members, Peter Diamandis, chairman of the XPRIZE Foundation, so it has got a lot of weight behind it. Now, regarding the track that HTT want to build, they have secured the agreements they need to actually build the loop. Construction should be finished by 2017. Should be starting very soon, actually. And hopefully passengers will be being carried by 2018. The hope is it's going to be solar-powered, that the Hyperloop will actually uh, feed energy back into the grid instead of drawing on it. That would mean passengers could travel for free. You know, like the Tesla supercharger network. It'll be a fundamental difference to other forms of transport. In fact, you know, I mean, 
<laughs> in the long run, it's end up killing other forms of medium of haul transport, especially the plane on those short intercity pairs like LA San Fran. Uh, although for longer routes, obviously the plane still has better economics. Till Elon's electric plane concept is unveiled, of course. Now, regarding the Hyperloop, we don't know yet if it is actually a practical idea, and we won't until those test tracks are up and running. If it does prove to be practically as well as theoretically possible, and there are some pretty daunting technical challenges involved as well as uh, the cost, then the world is going to be the mollusk of your choice. Um, here in the UK, they're planning on building a high-speed rail linking the various cities in England and Scotland, and it's going to cost tens of billions of pounds and take decades, as always. It's not like it's a huge country, it really shouldn't take so long or cost so much. Um, a Hyperloop would be much better for the taxpayers and the environment, although if they want to give out those big contracts to their uh, contributors, then that's just too bad. <laughs> so anyway, the Hyperloop. It's another grand plan from Elon Musk. The nature of its construction, you know, like tubes, seal tubes rather, solar powered, I mean, it'd be another one of his inventions that would be pretty useful on Mars. And remember, when it comes to Elon Musk, you must always look at what he's planning through the prism of Mars, you know. Everything he does, you can link it back to that. However, before it gets built on Mars, it will have to get built here first. Anyway, guys, that was just a quick chat about Elon Musk's Hyperloop concept. Why don't you subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content? Leave me a comment or a suggestion for an upcoming video you'd like to see discussed. Or hit that like button.